Ravlink AC1200 dual band Wi-Fi range extender. I'm going to give this a try to improve the Wi-Fi at where I'm at. And uh, let's see how it goes. Then we'll do a speed test with and without it. And let's see the performance. And it also matters where you put it around the home. So I'm going to set it up as a... A repeater mode. Repeater means basically I'm going to put this device somewhere in between of a, of a router that has a good strength and I'm going to run a wire from one of the ports to my uh, router here so I'll have a cable connection as well so let's see how it goes okay pretty basic and one network cable and some documentation So there's a button to put it in repeater mode. So repeater mode, press it down. Okay, that should be easy to set up. All right, so we'll get a. Okay, so if you put it somewhere where the signal is stronger, that will be best. So my one, I'm assuming, will be somewhere around there. That's, that's fine. I'm still happy with that. So I'll get a laptop and we give this instruction to go. Repeat the mode. The instructions are pretty clear. Okay. All right, let's go. Get a laptop and give it a go. We'll try using a Wi-Fi, a tablet, iPad. Let's see how we go. So what I'm going to do first is connect this to a power source. So what the instruction says: go to your computer or device, Wi-Fi, and connect to Vavlink. So I'm just going to disconnect from my current network. Okay, so we should see Vavlink come up, which is there. Let's go in. Try Vevlink AC. Oh, finally we did. Okay, we don't need a laptop.
So we can normally go straight to 192.168.10.1 or as per instructed we, we should be able to go to Wi-Fi dot web link dot com let's go to one nine two one six eight ten dot one okay right so password is admin I think Okay, great. Well, I can't choose a country code, maybe global. Okay. So it wants us to set up a new password, which we should. Okay. Hmm. Router wizard. I don't really want a router. I want a repeater mode. Hmm. Let me double check. My bad should be in the middle for repeater mode yeah let's try that again <clears throat> need to wait for it to come back online again Go back. Okay. Now I need to type in the new password I made. So you'll normally enter admin. <coughs> okay. So it's set as a repeater. Let's go to wizard. So it should scan a list of Wi-Fi's around you. Pick the ones that's suitable. Type in the password. So now it's connecting. 
because it's showing the Wi-Fi password which I don't want it to show <laughs> let's see okay let's have a look so it's supposedly complete so what we're going to do now is plug the plug the unit somewhere where we have a strong connection and we'll do a two speed test and I'll show you that shortly one using the Wi-Fi access point one without in fact we'll do it here so if I now go to Wi-Fi and type in the password Okay, so we're connected. Okay, let's do a speed test through Google. So we haven't connected this guy yet. Let's go. iPads are pretty good. If they're Wi-Fi. That's not bad. Yeah, this is the one I'm really concerned about. I want to get about 18, 20. And it varies according to the um, usage around the neighborhood. Okay, now time to connect this guy. Alright, so what I've done is um, I've got a router here which is now connected with cable to... to... Um, the Wavlink access point. So now we can do two tests. The true test will be to actually uh, connect to my local network, which is this one here. Wi Fi strength will be, of course, good because the router is just next to me. But from there, it's connected with cable to the Wavlink and Wavlink as an access point repeater. So this is a real test. So 42, 61, so 42, 12, let's say 13, and that ping time is important. A bit lower. So this guy is what I'm really interested in. This is the max speed I can get on the NBN that I'm on, sometimes 19. Okay, so ping time is lower, that's, that's much better. Um, one more time. Okay. And if I was to reposition this, maybe if I can get a little bit better, let me try that. Okay, let's try that one more time. <clears throat> Go. Mm, you can see a difference. You know, I just moved it only about yeah, 50 centimeters apart. So 
weight. This is a much better resolution than before. Just double check we're on the correct Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm sure it can do. Yeah, I don't have any password. It's just because I have a, a feature where I allow uh, MAC addresses that can connect to it, specific ones. Okay. The ping time is a bit lower, I am happy, not the best ping time, but it's okay, it's going through this Wi-Fi to another Wi-Fi to an access point, and there's actually another Asus repeaters in the house, and then going to the modem, so this is fine. So I'm going to keep this rattling for now, and it seems to be a nice solution. And benefit of this is we get a um, cable connection down here without having to run a network cable. You can see the bandwidth loading very quick. and skipping videos or maybe change the quality ten eighty p nice try four K Yeah, that's beautiful. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.